today we're going to take a look at um, Jazz Guitar Method by Ronnie Lee. Now you don't have to be a jazz musician to use this book. Um, it's in two parts. Uh, the first part is solo and melody playing, and the second part is all about chords. So we're actually going to start with the second part. Okay, so a chord is made up of three or more notes. All right, so take for example a C chord. All right, C major chord. So if you take a scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C, all right, we're going to take the first note, which is the C, and then we're going to take the third note, which is the E, okay? And then we're going to take the fifth note in that scale, which is the G. So here is a C, here is an E, and here is a G. So to put that in a chord form, it would sound something like this. Okay. Now in this particular case, all right, the C is our root note. Okay, it's also the lowest note in this chord formation. Okay, so it's called the bass note. So this, the load on the sixth string here is the C in the bass. Okay, so the way he organizes this is we start with the major chord, okay, with the three notes, all right, and we're going to play that on all the, the different frets of the guitar. So when I practice, I like to practice everything very slowly and deliberately. So I would set my metronome on 60, okay? And I'll just give you an example. So I'm gonna start on G, okay? Uh, which is in the bass here, the G note on the third fret, okay? And we're just gonna work our way up. It's the same form, so this is a G. G sharp. how we start with our uh, just regular major chords with three notes, okay? So we have the root, again, which is the name of the chord, so in other words, C, a C major chord, and we have the third note, E, and we have the fifth note, G. So moving on, we add another note, okay, which is called the seventh note in the scale. So in terms of a C scale, the seventh note is B, okay? So we would have a C, E, G, and a B. So again, here's our C, here's an E, here's a G, and here's a B. Right? So that's also known as the major seventh. The B. Okay. All right, and that sounds something like this when we have the C in the bass. Okay, so we have the C major with no seven, and now we add the major seven and get a C major seven. Now we also have something which is called a C seven, and that contains the same note C E G but it also has a B flat, okay? So that would sound like this. All right, so now we have the C major, the C major seven, and the C seven. And then we'll add another chord, which is called the sixth, okay? So that is an A. That's a C, E, G, and an A. Okay, remember, G is the fifth, so the next note after that would be A, which is the sixth. And that sounds like this. So again, in the book, he organizes all these chords, okay, in 
into a nice exercise. Again, I'm going to play it very slow for you on 60. Okay? And we'll start on G again. So this is our G major. G major 7. G7. G6. We'll go to G sharp. On to the next lesson, we're going to have the third note in our chord as the bass note, as the lowest note played on the sixth string. So if we use the example of C again, we said that the third note was an E. So I'm going to go way up here on the 12th fret. Okay, here's an E on the sixth string, and I'm going to make my chord, same notes, C, E. G. All right? So we could do the same thing, same practice, learning that chord, play it slow, and we're going to play it on all the different frets. After that and move that anywhere up and down the, the fretboard. All right, so we're going to learn the same other three chords as, as we did. We had the major seven, the seventh, or sometimes called the dominant seventh, and the sixth. So we'll use the case of uh, our C chord again. We're on the 12th fret. Okay, here's our C chord with the E as the lowest note. Now you see we have a C way up here on the 13th fret on the second string. Okay, and if I lower that one fret, I have my seventh, which in the case of C is a B. And I get my major seven chord. If I lower that one more, I get the flat seven, okay, or the dominant seven, which is a B flat. I get that sound. Sixth, right, which we said was an A. It sounds like that. All right, so again, he has exercises here to practice that. And again, I would do that slow. So I'm going to start here, okay, with an E chord, okay, have the E up here, and the G sharp, which is in the bass note, the third note. quite a bit of uh, material for you today. Uh, just learning those, if you're not familiar with them, would take a bit of, uh, of practice of um, uh, some time for you to master those so you can play them all over the fretboard and know exactly which chords you're playing. All right, so we'll put another video together next week. Uh, we'll, we'll move on to the uh, to more exercises, learning more chords from the Jazz Method with Ronnie Lee. Thanks, I'm Todd B.
Company from Todd B's Groove 45. Uh, thanks for listening.